What's up guys and welcome to New Tarot. I am the energy and intuitive reader and I'm here to do the what you don't see coming for somebody. So let's see who's going to get this reading. Where am I? Where am I? <laughs> Libra. What's up, Libs? Thank you so much for being here. This message can resonate with you if you have Libra as a sun, moon, rising, or Venus. The energy might be reversed for you, Leaves. So take it how it resonates and leave the rest. All right, Libra. Let's see what's going on with you. Um, I'm going to do two different sides to get two different perspectives, okay? All right, let's see. Oh, we got two cards. Okay, bottom of the deck is Be Humble. Leo energy. Oh, no, you got four cards. What is this? You're the only one that got this many. You have breathe through the tension, assess the situation. Okay, you're, you're just going to be, um, I'm going to have to do this side differently. Okay, this is this has never happened before in all of the what you don't see coming segments. So this is a very special message right here, Libra. Okay, when things switch up, when I'm being guided to move differently than I'm used to in my readings, is because there's a certain message that has to be, um, per, you know, said in a certain way. Uh, you have reflect on your priorities and focus on the positive. Okay, so I have Scorpio, Virgo, Aquarius, and Sagittarius here. All right, so you're about to get three different things. <laughs> All right, so here, th this this first thing that's happening, um, I feel like it's going to be, there's two things, two separate things that's going to happen for you that you don't see coming. The first thing is breathe through the tension and assess the situation. There is about to be a shake-up. A shake-up, okay? Um, I, feel like, I feel like it's going to be cause a little stress for you. I'm not going to lie. Um, but the universe wants you to be smart about your next move in this situation. Let me see. What is this? Breathe through the tension and assess the situation. Could be with a Scorpio or a Virgo. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Swords in reverse. You have the King of Coins in reverse, the Four of Swords, and the King of Wands here. Um, there's, it's like, it's like someone is unstable and it's affecting you. And I feel like with the Four of Swords, like you've tried to like busa, you've tried, you've tried, but I feel like it's like. You're going to find yourself having to be a little more aggressive, a little more like, mm, like a little more putting your foot down because that's like now someone else's unstability is now affecting your stuff. Ton of swords in reverse. Yeah. And it's like, you're, I feel like eight of cups in reverse and the page of cups. This is something that keeps happening. It could be with a, um, a cancer. It keeps happening. With this energy, it's just something, something that always happens, and the universe is like, but whatever, but this this time, I feel like it's it's going to it's going to hit you a lot harder than um, maybe all the other times, which is why um, that's why you don't see it coming. I feel like it's gonna put you in this King of Wands energy because you need to be a little more assertive in a certain area of your life. Okay. All right, so for reflect on your priorities and focus on the positive. Um, <clears throat> I feel like, I feel like there's going to try, I feel like there's going to be something like good happening and then there's going to be like an energy is trying to distract you from that. Um, that's what I'm getting. It could be an Aquarius or a Sagittarius. What is focused on the positive and reflect on your priorities? <laughs> yeah, the, whoever this energy is is not going to succeed, though. Bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands in reverse. You have the Six of Wands in reverse, the Six of Swords, and the Eight of Coins here. Yeah, I feel like somebody, um, there's someone that's trying really hard to, um, like make sure that like mentally you don't move forward it, it, it's I'm, I'm also getting like don't like that they, they don't want you to be ahead of them you know because it's like however it is that you're moving it's like you're you're mentally at a, at a ahead of them and they don't like that so it's like they could try to make but it's just not gonna work 
I don't know how they're going to do this, but Queen of Wands in reverse, the Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Coins. They might try to get... Um, I see this this person, um, I feel like you're really independent and they see that. I feel like they might try to hit you with some truth about someone, but you're going to find out that that's a lie. It's like, it's like they wanted you to see someone in a certain light. This person is stuck in the past, okay? Like they like whoever this person is that's doing this. Um could be a Leo. This person is stuck in the past and like um like the way they do things. It's like they're stressed out and they see you calm, so they're just like, Well that well, Libra can be calm if I'm not. Like what, bro? That's crazy. But yeah, that's what I got for those two, okay? And then you have be humble at the bottom. I feel like this person is about is going to be humbled because um, it's like they're trying so hard. It's like intentionally trying to make sure that you don't succeed or that you don't get what you want. And karma's a beep. So that's all I got to say. <laughs> all right. Let's see. What else? Leave on. Libra, what don't they see coming? This, um, this video could also be for the cross watcher of a Libra. Like if you're dealing with a Libra, I just got that. I never get that. That's weird. Okay, high priestess of water. Again, <laughs> someone. Okay, bottom of the deck is focus. Okay, so this could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, doesn't have to be or it could just be somebody who is very um, intuitive very in tune with their emotions very motherly um, gives has a lot of emotions very loving very intuitive I'm getting too okay um, with focus here there's something about this person I feel like this person has their eye on you this person is focused on you like you are the main attraction here Libra what is this High Priestess of Water. Bottom of the deck is the Hierophant. Okay, it could be a Taurus. You have the Judgment, the Page of Cups in reverse, the Temperance in reverse, and the King of Pentacles. So Libra, this person <clears throat> is not listening to their intuition. They know that they have to make an important decision that involves you. This could have to do with marriage or commitment um, or just a re religious um, factors here but they know that they have to make um, a decision and I feel like they're not listening to their intuition I want to clarify this for you um, I feel like this person is trying to balance out their finances that's kind of what they're focused on right now um, and I feel like they're going to be guided to like focus on you but it, it's I feel like they are focused on you but they're not they're not making the they're not making the judgment call like they're not solidifying something they're not i don't know ace of cups in reverse this person this person has been hurt i feel this person is still hurt through for something um let me see something what is this page of cups in reverse why are they not listening to their intuition three of cups in reverse and the moon because they have friends and family that are creating fears they have friends and family around them that are making them, well, first of all, three of cups in reverse, so they don't have the best intentions for this person anyway. It's like, I, I don't feel like they're doing it to be malicious. It's more just like they're not, like their advice isn't, you know, like they haven't been in this person's shoes or anything like that for them to be giving advice is kind of what I'm getting. I don't feel like they're bad people. Five of wands in reverse, yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why they're not listening to their intuition because they're listening to other people. Um, what is this judgment? The death card in reverse could be a Scorpio. The strength card in reverse could be a Leo. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, this person feels it's like right now this person feels, um, or, or I feel like what you're going to realize is that this person is having, um, a tough time allowing a transformation to happen like the the old them to die and for the new to come in the four pentacles yeah they're holding really tight onto their old version 
they do see a connection between you and them, but they're just refusing to. It's like they're like at the last step of this tr of this transformation that they're supposed to be going through, and they're like not going through the door. Um, could be an Aries. They're like they're they're almost there, and it's just like they just stopped at the door. But you do have the higher for at the bottom of the deck, so I feel like this will lead to a higher commitment. I feel like the judgment will be made. Um, what is this temperance in reverse? But I feel like this person, it's like, it's an ego thing. It's like they want their finances to be at a certain point before they can solidify something. You have the king of wands and the sun could definitely be a Leo, heavy Leo energy here. Um, they're trying to bring, it's like, yeah, it's like they want to make sure that they look good, smell good, feel good, that they're happy inside and out before they do this. Because it's a very important decision out of Pentacles in reverse. They don't want to come off unreliable. So it's like they want to make sure that every single part of their life is balanced and good before they commit to this or before they, you know, call judgment on it. All right. All right, Libra, that's all that I have for you. I hope this helped. Have a good day or a good night whenever you watch this and stay positive.